walking through <clears throat> walking through the world in a retrospect of the realness being made and what separated us from God in all imagination, be it the mind, the eye, and how we perceive or conceive something to be. Being born in the world, dying from God in the imagination through the womb of woman and being raised up in the man made moral law for uh, the purpose of making money. The man made moral law that put money before Jesus and God and separated us from the reality of imagination saying that there are there are many ways to see God or many ways to many faces many minds of God or many characteristics of God is uh, like an element of a wind that blows ever changing the clouds full of different types of art the, the flame of a fire is constant changing the, the way the lightning strikes the path is never the same so God is a question to many things and many creatures with many characteristics and each and every star as I had explained in earlier conversation holds a piece of every imagination that is in this world and we live and we walk and we breathe and we hear and we see, we taste and we touch because we ate that forbidden fruit and was given wisdom and knowledge of sense. And it's done through it's done through childbirth, right? Dying from God. We had chosen Jesus as the savior of Adam and Eve's mistake with Let's say it was a mistake or uh, ultimately population and growth and money lack of it comes to a war. So we can say in a sense it is a mistake, but Adam and Eve's mistake and then we come to a conclusion that Jesus Christ was a savior from that mistake died from God and then dive back into God. The many realms, it talks about the realms that were being made before uh, the fall of Odin in Caesar's time after giving birth to Caesar through Belwolf. Belwolf was the first child, spiritual child of Odin. And in that spirituality of childbirth, did Belwolf make a, a child named Caesar? And then Caesar had that uh, kingdom fallen into the world and spread out into all of the people in the form of creation. There is no other way to put it, even if it's a divination. It's still a creation by our own words, or literature, or actions follow behind it. I'm not saying that words in a instance of people, unless they are God, has power. Because the mind is stronger than a bulk of muscle. But the words of God are said to be the very creation of the entity that we live in. So, if we are to have sight on every side of us, it says eyes all around, then we are to have, I can't necessarily say I see in the back of my head, but it does say in the Bible 
that there are eyes all around. So that we have portal to venture on into in a form of imagination. Living as every star has this imagination of the place we live in the world. They all see the same thing, but it's a different uh, retrospect in, in each and every eye on every side or each and every image or dual portal fleshly image uh, depending upon if the other realms that are stated to have been created and chosen to eat that forbidden fruit and give birth dying from God giving birth dying from God into the belly of the moon. the only realm that is stated that has done this is Helheim and the sanctuaries of Helheim be hell the dead waters that were risen in Jesus Christ and in heaven where the stars are the stars that uh, are a piece of each and every covenant every creature, every nature every animal, every sea creature everything Every covenant that is made is in those stars where the elders are. And to. Alright, I've experienced where I've had to sleep a long period of my life, so I've gained some kind of imagination as to being dead and then waking up in a totally different place. And the idea of to read in the literature is that the eyes all around it, they're called a dual, in a sense, I have no eye, actually, but in a sense, I have a quick reaction, or from behind me, I have, I have a quick reaction, but I have no real eye, so it does say that, in a sense, it is there, it's just not open, because of a lack of something, or too much of something. I have only come to a conclusion that it has to be faith and favored by God as Enoch uh, was favored to go up and, and talk about the crystal walls and, and all of that stuff and be a great experience of some things that a lot of people don't get to do that. That is called one of the churches and then Jesus would call it another church and between the sea lamb of God and the lamb of God in our creation which is between the sea and the land Enoch and Orion Jesus being equal to Orion which is Xerxes uh, hangman and uh, King David being equal to Enoch or Annika being equal to Enoch and I'm not real 100% positive but one of them is equal to Enoch and Annika was said to have fallen short in the darkness in the darkness and Jesus was said to have loved all things that God may be able to take part of all things if you in this world hate something and you go into heaven it's called the commandment falling down but if you love everything you're able to have a part of it it's it's able to go into heaven with you until it is purified by a favorable in a wisdom or in a glory of wisdom uh, gifted by he who had loved all things and favored someone down here to be a speaker for the world. So the realms, after waking up in a long period, of, had a major head injury, and then waking up and everything, I mean, no friends, have very little people I, I talk with, and a very blessed life in all my hardships, but the realms become an actual reality in 
a dream or an actual life. Like, blink out in one eye, you're shut, and in another eye, you're, you're open, or one door, you're shut, and in another door, you're open, and it's still in the same place. It's just a different people or same people just a different aspect of living uh, maybe an elemental state uh, I don't know how to explain it nobody really has any real proof of the realms in, that they actually exist but they say there's fire room uh, Constantine's literature that he had actually entered into a room of fire and the people were made of this fiery bliss and there are other rooms of ice cold and Helheim which was a spiritual world where we had eaten the forbidden fruit and gave sense to that spirit and became a reality to sense it more complex by the truth. It goes on and on and on to about 10 rooms. And then the two rooms, heaven and hell, that nobody can enter into unless it's through the favor one uh, by the Lord as a speaker of the Lord. For uh, worthy attempts of life and prosperity and the great uh, congregation of many wisdom. Not just one wisdom. There are many fathers that have written in the book, and this is scribe upon us all. And the greatest one is the scribe of the end times, lovers of themselves. I Meaning, I had from the rib of Adam pulled and created Eve, and I have loved myself, and in in that. Uh, creation of self, be it from all nature, creatures, and sea creatures, and animals, and fowl above, and all things, worm, critters, and creepy crawlers. In creation, I am in love with all things, nature, everything. In time, love with themselves is one of the greatest. Anyway, they gotta go.